have Williams. Will Williams keep him? Yes. Here's the man. Come on in. I don't know. If, have we had you on the post race show this year? I don't know if we have, man. I don't know. Probably not if we're thinking about it. No. You thought we he was going to be a regular when you stepped away this time last year. Yeah, I know. We're going to be anchoring the show. We yeah. tried to get you on the pre-race show a couple of times at the start of the season, but you, you kept on failing to turn up, so we stopped yeah. asking. Sorry, it wasn't personal. Maybe it was. <laughs> I don't know. How was the race? Tell me. Uh, it was actually pretty enjoyable. Okay. Yeah, there was a lot going on. You know, Ferrari, Mercedes, how that was going to work out. Who got Aston it in the end? Uh, Mercedes. Okay. Yeah, and McLaren beat Aston. And you guys just missed out yeah. in the battle with Williams. It was close. It was. Um, okay, cool. That's I it. think two stop races are nice. Yeah. Two stop races are nice. It definitely opens up a few more things with, yeah, well, when there's a bit of deg, then you have, oh, I was, yeah, it seemed to, uh, I don't know. I don't know why there was a few more maybe two stops this season, but that was fun. I enjoyed that. Let's look at the season as a whole, because my word, you've been on a roller coaster from yes. Red Bull Reserve and traveling the world and doing media appearances to then training, training, training into Alpha Tauri, then the broken hand, then back. Did you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It was a very interesting season. Um, but look, with all the, the little call of the ups and downs, I think there was globally, it was very positive because I, I realized I got my answer that I was really looking for 12 months ago and you know I realized that this is still my passion and it's what I want to do and I just needed to yeah get a little bit of time to myself and I think also just acknowledge that yeah there's a little bit of a confidence kind of that needed rebuilding and um, yeah I guess coming back into the Red Bull family gave me that so that was um, yeah we're in a we're in a really good place I'm happy. I remember this time last year you were wearing orange you were looking forward to getting away <laughs> for, a, for a long time over the winter and checking out. I sense that you're not switching off this winter. You're going to be, you're going to be coming back. You've got a big smile on your face again, <laughs> ready for action again next year. Yeah. The hunger's back. Yeah, definitely. It's, this, is, this is very rare that it's the last race of the season and I want to keep going. <laughs> normally, obviously, I, there's a reason because yeah, I only did a few races. But yeah, normally this point of the year, I'm just, you're kind of done. You just want to have a break. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll have a very, very short break. But I think while the others are having their full break i'm going to get get back into the, the back into the gym and just prepare prepare next season and you know as as great as the you know it was it was coming back and i enjoyed it and so much you still can't underestimate a a pre-season and all of that and even with you know pierre my engineer he had three drivers this year he's trying to figure out what we like what we don't how to set up the car so just there's kind of a whole dynamic which i think will will benefit a lot having a pre-season next year daniel ricardo doesn't go racing for the for the small places. Daniel Ricciardo goes racing for Grand Prix victories. We've seen that in you time and time again. It's where you're at your at your best, where you're at your most most comfortable. There is a lot to be determined at the end of 2024 mm -hmm. in terms of driver contracts and and changes. What have you got to do next year to be right in that in that mix? I've got to do Mexico. Just <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> maybe that, maybe that'll be my like slogan. Just I got to do Mexico. That's. Uh, I don't know how that sounds, but anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously the, these these results, these performances, obviously help. But they're the ones I like the most, so there's there's double incentive. Uh, but I, I'm aware, you know. I think this this year, I I, I realised there was certainly yeah some things that that I needed to to kind of fix, and even there's some things that I I feel like I did well, and I got back to a level I was happy with. But as I said, just you know, in confidence and all of that, it's. There's no denying sometimes it can be, it can dip and all of that. And um, I feel like I'm starting to build that up. Uh, Mexico was on a high, so just try to try to keep finding that, uh, those, those levels again. And I think I'll be okay. The most important thing though, man, is, is you've got that, that joy back, that happiness. Mm. You're, you're back to, yeah. to being you. And uh, yeah, just personally for you, mate, I'm really, really happy for that. So thank you, mate. Have a good Appreciate winter, buddy. It. Thanks for coming on the show. What, what no are worries. you doing now? Are you just getting back in the sim, back to the gym and hitting it for the whole winter? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Like I, I got some testing in a couple of days, then straight after the test fly to the UK to do a sim. Wow. And then we have an event in Japan and then I'll get, I'll get probably two, well, then it kind of takes us to mid December. So I'll probably take mid December to Christmas off. And then uh, I plan on getting in the gym day after Christmas, Boxing Day.
Is it, is it called oh. Boxing Day? Yeah, like Boxing, boxing day. day. Around the yeah. world? Yeah. yeah. I'll be boxing on Boxing Day. Nice. Perfect <laughs> That's stuff, a plan. So, I'm, yeah, I don't want to take too much time off. Love it. Awesome. Thank you. Enjoy your break, Thanks, buddy. everyone. Appreciate Enjoy you coming Christmas. On. Love it, Thank mate. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Um, it is great to see a happy, smiling, 